Hello boys and girls. Today we are learn, going to learn how to draw an owl. I'm going to be using a Sharpie marker, a piece of white drawing paper. I would suggest that you use a pencil and if you need an eraser. Um, I'm going to draw with Sharpie marker just so that you can see what we're doing. I'm holding my paper landscape. This is a drawing pad. Um, sometimes it's nice if you rip the page out so that your hand is not dealing with the different levels of a pad it's totally up to you um, but we're going to get started the first thing that i would like to do is i'd like to use my finger and make a ghost drawing of the shape of a u which is going to be the shape of the owl i want to make sure that i leave a little bit of room up at the top so that i can get in his ears so here we go a u you are going to make a curve line to connect those two points you are going to make ears. Kind of looks like a little football in a way, okay? I like to put a double line in there because I like to add a lot of color and then I would like to add different colors to make the ears. I'm going to make two big round eyes. And again, I'm using my finger like a ghost drawing just so that I get an idea of where I wanna go with my, with my eyeballs, okay? If you make mistakes, no worries. You're just gonna use your pencil and uh, eraser and you could erase it. Again, I'm just drawing Sharpie marker just so it's a little easier and that you could see. I'm gonna make a triangle nose that's connecting those two eyeballs together. I'm gonna to make another circle in each eye. And I'm gonna have my owl kind of looking up to the top over here first for something that we'll show you in a few minutes. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I am going to draw like a C and then a backward C over here. And that is just going to represent his wings. I'm going to add two more lines for some detail that I'll put a little texture in there in a few minutes. And then I'm gonna do the little feathers of the owl's chest. And I'm going to just draw two curved lines. And then I'm gonna do something that's called scallops, okay? Um, I love to draw scallops. And scallops is just the U shape. You're going to then the next row kind of offset it. So you start in the middle of one of those U's or scallops and you just keep building. It's kind of like when you're drawing bricks, they're off centered um, and they just keep building or stacking one onto another. Okay, so there you have his little, little wings. The next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make his little claws. And I just draw three little, again, U-shaped lines. And then I wanna draw a branch that's gonna run all the way across. I might make it a little bit like a V at this edge, just to give it a little bit of interest. Okay, next thing I'm gonna try to draw a couple leaves depending on where you place your aloe on your page, you might get to draw some more leaves. Uh, I'm gonna draw something that looks kind of like an oak. An oak leaf, these are curved. If this is too hard for you, I'll show you another little way to draw some leaves. That might be a little quicker. And this would be something that's very easy to do. Again, it's kind of like a football shape. Okay, pretty much done with our branch. I might even wanna put a little bit of texture because you, we know our branches and our trees have a little bit of texture in the bark of the tree. I'm going to put a nice big half of a moon, like a U, and I'm gonna draw a few stars. So a star, you can do, it's a series of Vs. One V, another V. And I am tossing these around so that they're not all lined up perfectly. They're tossed to give some interest to the art composition, okay? Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna color away. So I might take my moon, I might do a little bit of yellow. I think I'm gonna carry that yellow into his eyes. What I like to do when I'm coloring is when I grab a color, I try to plan out ahead of time and I look and why I have that color in my hand, kind of to save time. And I try, kind of like to try to put that color around um, in my paper, in my design, in my composition. 
and I try to think of what, what colors am I going to, what items, what design items am I going to use that I'm going to color with that same color. Maybe this beak is going to be yellow also, but I might want to try to add a little bit of orange in there. Make it like a little shadowed a little bit. And I think I might use, a, oh, this is a nice green in his eyes. You're gonna be the artist here, so it's gonna to be totally, totally, totally up to you what you decide that you wanna do for coloring your owl. I'm gonna leave a little highlight in his eye, which is just a little bit of light that's shining on his eyes. And I think my guy is gonna be really colorful. I think I'm gonna make, I think I'm gonna just randomly color some of his feathers or her feathers different colors. I'm trying to stay in the lines. I see it went out of the line there a little bit, but no worries. I'm gonna take another color and I'll make sure I try to go over that one a little bit. And I'm just tossing those colors around. Maybe one over here. Oh, I think I'm gonna go get that yellow marker again and do his little feet or his little claws. I think I'm going to take a black, uh, dark brown marker and I'm going to try to shadow that tree. It looks a little sloppy now, but once I finish it with my crayons, it will get some texture, just like a real bark of a tree or a branch. Um, Maybe his ears are going to be blue. And maybe I'm going to make part of his wing blue. You're going to go ahead and make your owl beautiful and whatever color that you choose to do. Again, I'm not filling up the leaf perfectly to the edge because I'm trying to make my leaf look like the fall leaves that we have outside right now that are turning colors and their combination of several colors all together on one leaf, which looks really pretty. Makes your design a little bit more interesting. I don't know about you, but I have some trees in my backyard that are yellow and orange and green all oh, one tree it's hard to believe that one tree could have so many beautiful colors so it's one of my favorite times of the year and I'm sure it's one of yours too you get to see all the most beautiful colors the skies are so pretty nowadays also I don't know if you notice but um, it would be something nice for you to go out right when sun is setting and November fall skies are just absolutely beautiful most beautiful colors so get out and make sure that you try to check that out. Um, so yes, I could have colored my owl all one color, but it's kind of boring. It's kind of nice when you can add a variety of colors to it. Pick colors that you like, pick your favorite colors. Um, maybe you're gonna pick some colors that you really don't ever kind of call your favorite or your favorite colors and try using some of those colors and see what color com color combinations you could come up with. I think he's looking pretty darn cute. I always like to put pink in the ears for some reason. I might even add some pink into my leaves, make them look nice and bright and colorful. I would like to make my nice sky. I'm gonna make it a dark, well, not too, too dark, but a grayish sky. Maybe it's just gonna be dusk when the sun is just setting. I think I might add a little bit of paint to that sky. 
Sky too. I don't know about you, but I think they call it Cotton Candy Sky. And it's like blue, pastel blues and pinks and purples and all these most beautiful, beautiful colors. I'm using Crayola crayons. I happen to have a nice big pack, but you could use whatever colors you like. You can get different variations of your colors just by um, how hard you press on your crayon. So if you want a really dark color and you don't have a lot of colors to choose from, you can just take one of your crayons and press a little darker, a little harder. And I think I'm gonna go with a little purple in my sky. Pink and purple. Almost done. You're gonna take your time. I'm going a little faster here just so that you can see. And you're gonna be able to stop the video when you want to, when you have to. And I wanna make sure that I sign my name. My name is Laura. And I think, I, oop, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of detail around the eyes. I don't know about you, but I love Sharpie markers. And I love that I can use them and I can go back and forth and add some details to my uh, design just to give a little texture and a little interest. I think I'm about done. So here is my owl, a couple little simple uh, supplies, a marker, paper, pencil, crayons, a couple little markers if you want to, and we are done. All right, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you soon.